Any lineup changes? Answer is no. We see Fast Loss sticking with the T32s and uh, Red Gratiem staying with their uh, lineup with the two IS3s, two AMX 5100s, and the T69. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Let's do it. Right, now we have them from the south position. Do they do something completely crazy? Yes, the answer is, oh, yes, they are. The, um, uh, no, not a single guy is heading over to the banana or up onto the hill. We're not getting a single, uh, I, sorry, T1 or any T32s or even the AMX 5100s. They're doing a full push this side. It's going to be scouted early from Calento, from Red, um, Red uh, Gra, and that is going to be responding they're going to be responding very quickly. The rest of their tanks, which would have been over here, are going to start taking positions. Uh, but is this going to be a push from um, from Fast Loss? Is this going to be a push, or are they just going to sit back, get into position, and do some sniping? Answer is multi frunk and Wannabeats are there trying to push forward. They're not getting any damage, which is really good. Fast Loss haven't taken a single HP hit, which is absolutely fantastic for them. And they're in decent-ish positions to try and make something happen. But what are they going to do now? They uh, are pinging around the map, knowing where the enemy is going, but they're pinging heavily down the three column. Are they going to make a dash down the three? Well, uh, Dino Blonde has seen multi front, and they're going fight to it, fight it out here on the west front. Multi front got the better of the... Um, of the exchange there with Dinero Blonde uh, having to fall back. Dynamo though did take a shot down and hit one event and and he's going to be in trouble now only with 500 HP remaining he can't really afford to go out again two more shots from anything and he's down so he's going to be really careful. The Johns and Soplek on the corner here really not sure what they're doing they're rocking back and forth like they're being aimed at by artillery and uh, they're feeling on the edge. I don't think fans loss are very confident with their um, their strategy here because of the uh, jittiness of the tanks here they're really jittery they're not calm and collect if you look at Gratiem you don't see the same sort of behavior they're really calm they know where they are they know what they have to cover they're in position and they know what they have to do much 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 calmer um, from the play Minx on the other hand is in combat trying to get some damage off before anything happens and there is some calls by the spectators and I don't know what that's about are they disengaging? I'm not sure if they were meant to be talking or if that was a call for me. I can't speak Krillic, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, the battle is continuing. No one seems to be disengaging. Uh, we have IHD heading down the far side to see if he can make something happen. Or if he's just going to protect the edge of the banana. He's just checking the, ed the edge of the banana. Check, uh, spotting the April. The April would have spotted him back. So then, now they know that there are two T1s protecting this area of the map. One thing that they do not know is what's going on over the hill. So Armour Lee has turned up though and destroyed the T1. IHD goes down for fast loss, meaning that Gra now has the entire, entire east side of the map completely in their control. We have no vision whatsoever for fast loss. The positioning here isn't representing that they've got a massive threat coming around their side. They're all still facing forward, managing to get some damage onto Dynamo, but have to be really quick about this before they have Grat come round the side of them. And no doubt Gratiem will be making that move round the side. So far we can't see what's going on over here, but we see Wanabante falling back, taking this advantage that the Gra TM guys have changed position and is heading down this way to fall back and get out of harm's way. He needs to stay at the back to be effective, but really they haven't lost that much HP. Apart from the 900 from Wanabante, they really can do um, a lot here still. They're not out of it yet. And Miss U Rock comes forward to scout them in his IS-3. No doubt he is not alone. He will have his teammates with him, no doubt, very, very close behind. And we're going to see that very shortly. As you see, Soplek takes some damage from somewhere. Two shots into the side. No doubt that's coming from the far side over here. Yep. Through there, and he's getting hit, and he doesn't know where it came from. But he's going to try and do some damage to Missy Rock. Will he be able to get a shot off? The answer is no. Missy Rock still scouting them and using his vision to supply his teammates with the ability to shoot them. 
Great shot though for Misty Rock, getting the free hit onto Soplak without any damage in return. These are the exchanges that Fastos need to stop because they keep doing that. And in game one, they did it a lot, which caused them the loss. They, uh, you can't afford to be doing this every time. If you are receiving damage and not giving damage back, you're losing the game. And we're seeing this with fast loss. They're doing loads of little exchanges like this and always taking more damage than they're giving. In there, Soplek just received um, you know, 1,000 damage without receive, uh, giving a single back lag. Uh, one of Bante's down to 79 HP and he is taken out to Kalento, but Kalento is actually on 50 HP and Spline was not going to chase him. But he's going to turn around instead and go for Aunt Lee and uh, Aunt Lee's first shot doesn't do anything and the second shot also doesn't do anything. He won't be able to kill Spline now no matter what he tries to do and Spline there is trying to take- WHAT THE?! I was about to say that, but his Amarak blows. How unfortunate. He was doing so well, but two shots must have hit into Amarak and taken him down. Very unfortunate there for fast loss that his Amarak has gone down. And Soplek and Johns are now still not supporting the teammates and panicked in their little uh, area over here. Now they just have to wait for their teammates to reload now and Grab will come to finish them off. Soplet goes down and now Josh, uh, Johns are trying to do some sort of damage. But they're surrounded from every direction. John Shush is obviously going to try and take out Missy Rock before he goes down. So at least they kill something. But the answer is he might not be able to. If they can get another two shots on him or if Minx gets in front, he won't be able to get that damage. The ram has failed because of Minx, but the shot will come out. No, both the shots came in before the T32 have reloaded and the red team captures. So the um, Gra captured and destroyed every vehicle from fast loss without losing a single tank. That was a bit of a disappointment there from Fast Loss. Not receiving, so not dealing a single death and losing the base was a uh, disappointment to say the least. They, they have trouble, it seems, understanding the flow of battle where they have, um, where, they, where they had Gra come round the back, they had Gra um, split up. And they still didn't respond. They still didn't do anything. They didn't push forward. They just held back. They split into two different groups. The, the T-32s sat there not knowing what to do. Uh, they didn't. They really didn't know what to do. And then the AMXs were doing great and then got ammo ragged. And that was really unfortunate. Uh, he was still at max health. The shots that were hitting him must have been hitting his ammo rack and doing no damage. And then the next shot hit and he goes down. That was incredibly unfortunate for him. Uh, I'm sure he was uh, gutted. But the schedule for today, this is the final battle. Um, final set, should I say. There's five battles going ahead. So we've still got three more remaining. But tomorrow at 6 Central, we will be having New Star versus low team one followed by mind and rage that's going to be absolutely fantastic and i can't wait to see them new start mind and rage all have not dropped a single game and low team one actually seemed pretty good against unity but they also were very passive they couldn't get past the defensive tactics of unity so it'd be nice to see if we can uh, get a better performance from uh, low this time and they're called the league of liberty for people who don't know so um, you'll see here at the top, uh, Mind, New Star, Rage. If any of these win their games 5-0, they will go to the number one spot. So tomorrow's game is super important. You cannot miss it. Tomorrow at 6 Central European, uh, come and see New Star versus Low Team 1. And for the highlight of the week, Mind versus Rage at 8 Central European. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Do not miss it. Be there or be square. Uh, <coughs> If you want updates of what the next map will be, tune in tomorrow. I'll find out before the game for you so I can tell you what Monday's map will be. Otherwise, follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Most of the details are below. For any discussions of the battles, any extra information we find out about the league, or any overturnings or rules or updates like that, we'll communicate it through Facebook. So go to Facebook slash Riveting TV or on Twitter or my personal Twitter you'll see down below there. Like there yeah and i will tweet little things throughout the week of things that are going on between the teams myself and um the uh, golden league so awesome right 